I was trying all these days, I was trying to find a reason. I was trying to find a reason for anyone to build this character. And yes, I find only one. Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through a review on our dude here, Angel. And he looks like a demon, he looks like Demon Hunter from World of Warcraft, he missing the part of the wool into his eyes and being blind, but still he feels like him. He could have, you know, the two dual wields uh, kind of swords, uh, but yeah. He's not. He is Angel and this uniform looks fantastic and I was wishing for him to be good by any means so people could uh, find out him useful and seeing it all over timeline battle or whatever and seeing this wonderful uniform, uh, you know, more often. But I was struggling to do that. I was struggling to see anyone using the character so... Took me like one week and a couple of days to decide what I'm gonna do with this bad boy and I tried him there, I tried him here uh, and he's kind of weird. But I found a place and a reason for someone to build this character actually and yeah, stay tuned for that. Before we go through the content, please do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Half of you are not subscribed, half of you are not doing like, go smash it, counts a lot on the YouTube algorithm and helps me to boost the content, do more content, drop more videos for you, ask me for whatever you want down below in the comments, are you want me to do with this, dude, he feels weird, but yeah, 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 I found out a really useful way to use him and let's go through that. So, as I told you, he looks really nice and after that, I'm gonna show you the build I have right now, which is uh, capped on uh, dodge, capped on ignore defense, uh, cooldown, attack speed, uh, missing critical rate and critical damage. I'm rocking a guard break immunity, 1% proc mini raids and yeah, the details on this character is kind of nice from one point of view and this is the best part in the character in my mind the tag that he has the fast movement tag and i had to go and test him on the stages for world boss legend that has this thing here another thing that it's really important for this unit is actually the buff he's getting through his uniform transforming his uni his leadership into a passive ability so his leadership are giving something else now, which is not that useful. Compared to Strife, who gives 50% all defense, this is kind of garbage. Okay, 50% recovery rate, it's kind of cool, but it's only for the characters that already have healing in their kit, so you don't really need or can use his leadership. So the passive ability, it's the main use for the character, and other world battle is the place to go and take advantage of this skill. Other than that, his skills doesn't really look like going into PvP, you know, he doesn't have any counter attack, he doesn't have any iframe ignore, and that makes him, you know, really easy to die and really hard to cast a skill against the enemies. The Awakened skill is actually a really fast cancel and his rotation is actually really simple but the fact that you need to delay the third skill and when you delay the third skill he drops a fire down in the ground makes him not that proc friendly. Of course you could cancel a bit faster the third skill and lose some damage uh, but pretty much the practice combo that the game has it's the legit combo to use. 3, do the fire, 5, cancel 4 and you're letting the 4th skill play and if you have your awakened skill, awakened skill, 3rd skill, boom, 5, 4th skill. Uh, it's really, really easy, let me show you actually the proper way here and this is it, you don't, it's, it's really simple, it's really simple and for ABX you could go and fill with 1, cancel 2. So let's go into some gameplay and now you saw my character, you saw the third skill to cancel it, you need to see the fire 
casting in the ground the moment the fire pops out you're going into the five cancel four for the five cancel four you don't need to delay a lot but the fourth skill you need to let it play until the end i saw you already the obelisk and yeah the thing that i told you about pvp yeah let me show you really fast so yeah, I was trying to figure out a way to use him against meta characters like uh, Jean Grey, like everyone else, but the moment he was going into the fight, he was dying immediately. Whatever I was doing, the result was something like this. I was trying to use him with invisible obelisk, you know, a guard break invisible, but every single time he was dying immediately. I, w I couldn't hold him alive, you know, I couldn't hold him alive for one second in timeline battle so if you plan for timeline battle you know yeah don't do that uh, I, I'm not seeing any reason for anyone to use him in timeline battle actually so yeah let's fast forward into the actual content that you should pick him up only for in case you just started to go through the world boss legend challenges and the world boss legend requirements and you see ultra now getting debuffed and being easier you know getting nerfed so yeah this is the stage that it's a bottleneck for a lot of players because the units that you should build it's like a uh, black bolt captain marvel and a doctor strange and there is no one else it's only three characters and Rogue actually, Rogue and Black Bolt, they're both, you know, seasonal, so we took another seasonal for this stage. Uh, with my Black Bolt, I have done the showcase on that, and with Rogue also, but back then it was way harder, and I was using CDPs, mighty CDPs, at level 80, and at tier 4, of course, it's way easier. Uh, but here I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that he can get buffed from Polaris, and get buffed also by Green Goblin and use him with just a mini raid obelisk at stage 79 of Ultron and see you how he seems to perform there. It's quite, quite surprising in my mind. So yeah, I end up using him at stage 79, I forget, but yeah, 75 to 79, it's not a big deal. This is 75, but you can see, uh, with my first rotation, I managed to do like two to three bars and the second rotation without the Awaken skill, again, two to three bars. So the Awaken skill doesn't feel like adds a huge amount of damage. Uh, you know, as soon as you do the proking uh, with a mini raid on your character and hit him proper, you can do two to three bars really easy. And for a level 80, using him without a CTP, at least before the nerf Ultron take, uh, that was really impressive. And he feels like he's doing it really easy. Of course, the normal proc, if you can manage to land a normal proc yourself without having the mini raid, you know, perhaps you're gonna manage to do more damage. But as I told you in the start, the third skill, because it needs some time to drop the fire, perhaps enables the proc and the five cancel four goes wasted and you don't do damage at all with your basic combo. So here, as you can see, I'm letting the fire pops out and with the moment the fire pops out, I'm doing five cancel four. And even if the run, it's not in my favor, you can see Ultron runs around, look at this. I just lost my Awaken and I was waiting him to come into the wall to do it. Uh, but yeah, Ultron can be really annoying. But in the same time, you can see here, I have like 15 bars left and I have, I have spent only 1 minute and 30 seconds into the stage, which that means that in like uh, 1 minute and 10, uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds, I would be able to clear it or pretty much, you know, math works like that. Uh, you know that uh, th this is not the case every single time. Perhaps in the start you do more damage, perhaps in the middle through the faces you, your uh, damage slows down. And of course you need to consider that here uh, there is the weird face that Ultron can't take damage. Uh, I was thinking there that I could push out any iframe skill, but yeah, he doesn't have any ignore iframe skill, so that's why I wasn't able to do any skill. Uh, I was waiting him to do the fight here, the phase here all, and I didn't went into the very last of the fight because I didn't have done my dailies also, so yeah. 
I hit him once here, I just drop my rotation and you can, and you can see here that there is only 5 bars left and Ultron is like half of the fight down. So yeah, I believe he's super easy, super easy to do with him and this, if you're struggling finding a fast movement character, buying this uniform, even without a CDP, even with no build like I have, you can do this thing easy peasy. And of course, if you manage to lay even better, I bet that someone could do the 100 seconds, of course, with uh, the level 80 angel here. Other than that, let's go and see what he's able to do for ABX. You know, ABX is a, a game mode that you can actually count the damage and see how much damage he can push in a period of time of 3 minutes. So this only, you know, makes you understand the value of the character outside the ABX also because the characters that actually are good in ABX, most of the times they're good for World Boss Legend, most of the times they're good for GBR and generally all the PV game modes. I'm progressing through the game with all my uh, metas of ABL and ABX even for uh, GBR, even for World Boss Legend, you know, if you build them for ABX and ABL and they are good there, they can do everything everywhere. Uh, as you can see here, I'm doing the thing that I told you I'm doing, three delay cancel five, cancel into four, let the, four, the fourth skill place until the end. You can see here like two or three seconds and after canceling into my second skill or canceling into my first and after my second skill, depending on if the one of them are in cooldown or not. Before the proc here, I'm not suggesting you to drop the waking skill because the waking skill gonna enable the proc earlier and you're gonna lose the fourth skill inside the mini rage proc. Because the mini rage proc is like for five seconds, the fourth skill needs like two or three seconds to go out all of it. So yeah, keep your mind keep in mind that you don't want to spam, just focus on doing the three delay cancel, five cancel, four. Uh, of course, in ABX, the one cancel two helps you to hit a bit more score, and that's why I'm trying to do my best in a kind of. But uh, yeah, I mean, I would not suggest to anyone to build this character for ABX 100%. But in case you're new in the game and you're looking for a character to push a bit your score for the free days, perhaps, or for the speed mail day that you can use. Uh, male speed characters, which is only one of ABX, which is the stage I'm participating right now. Uh, you can go there with Angel and have some really nice results. Uh, I'm hitting really easy the 10 million, uh, the 10 million reward. As you can see, I'm 9.7, and we're talking about a character literally naked. I have like uh, his uniform into mythic, no, uh, epic. And also I have his uh, Urus and nothing else, no Odin's Blessing, no CTP, uh, nothing really important there. And I'm already at 10.3% on uh, ABX. Of course, you have to consider my account. My IGN is Deathproof HS. You should go and see what cards I have, uh, how my characters, what stats my characters have. I saw you before in the start of the of the video, my stats with Angel, but you can see 10.7 without even trying second time, it was really easy. The last part I could tell you is uh, a GBR. With the same build, I did Ultron, Fast Movement and ABX, I can do also GBR. As you can see, it's no joke, he can do it easy peasy with a mini raid and you can see the bars flying at least in the first fight, in the first phase. In the second phase, to be honest, he was kind of slower. I was waiting to be, uh, I was waiting him to be faster. As you can see, I'm one minute and 40 seconds into the stage. Let me show you how a uh, rotation looks like, a proper rotation here. Uh, it's like three to four bars, the awaken rotation. He took his time, but in the end of the day, I believe he can clear it. Uh, I was like 2 to 3 minutes into the stage, 2 minutes and 40 seconds into the stage and he went into this last phase which takes like maximum 2 more minutes so I could potentially clear it but yeah, I'm not gonna let you see this GBR run. I know most of the people already have the tier force they need, already 
uh, you don't really need to go and build Angel for GBR. But yeah, the fact that he's missing a PvP skill like counter attack, the fact that he don't have iframe ignores, uh, it's not something I am saying, you know. I was believing in the start of the update that I'm gonna go through other world battle and see all over the place angels tier 4. Uh, but yeah, there's no angel nowhere and that means something. If the super duper whales haven't using him yet and they prefer to use wasp as, uh, you know, uh, the same support buff you're getting it from wasp and you're getting also some uh, hp extra hp so why using angel a character that to be competitive here he needs at least to be tier 4 strife is way better if you have a good build on your strife he can do the counter attack he can do the iframe ignore attacks so he's way better he's way better so in my mind Angel, perhaps it's the easiest skip of the world for at least for the seasonal uniform. Perhaps he's the worst seasonal uniform. See, he's providing nothing and he demands you to pay a full cost uniform. The only good is the way he looks. But generally speaking, if you are not planning to tier 4 him and use him for high rank other world battle, perhaps content that the whales haven't uh, done yet, I guess. Uh, okay, but still, it's a skip, it's a skip. Uh, but yeah, if you are a new player, you're looking for a mutant, you need to consider that mutants are really hard to find without being paywall, without being seasonal, without being crystal wall. It's so little of characters that they can go level 80 and you don't need to pay crystals in front, like Jean and all this situation, and also having the fast movement speed, also having the leaderships, uh, fast movement, not speed tag, and the leadership, and being speed, you know, perhaps you need that kind of character, so yeah, go build him, with no build he can perform and do some world boss legends for you, do some GBR, do some ABX, he's so mediocre, and the fact that they introduced him in 2024 and he's already outdated, even if he's a tier 4, it's kind of sad. The only the way he looks is awesome or anything else on him pretty much suck. So yeah, skip it, skip and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments your opinion about Angel. Is he that bad or it's my way of thinking? I feel like he is, but yeah, what I know, what I know. See you into the next kisses in your faces.